A violent weekend in Aurora. Three teens shot at a party Saturday night. A 14 year old girl is dead and two others are hospitalized. Thank you for joining us for Denver 7 News at 10. I'm Jessica Crawford and I'm Jessica Porter. Gunshots rang out at Highland Hollows Park Saturday night. Police say a party was happening at the park when a fight broke out. Kamaya Cleveland was killed. Two other girls, a 15 year old and a 14 year old were shot and taken to the hospital. No word on how they're doing tonight and no arrests have been made in the shooting. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon talked to Cleveland's family members who are pleading for someone to come forward. Saturday night, just after nine at Highland Hollows Park in Aurora. Oh God, it's miserable. It's been horrible. Shattered. The family of 14 year old Kamaya Cleveland. Beautiful name for a beautiful young girl. Nobody ever felt alone with Kamaya. She made sure that she took time and care with everybody that she knew. Mm. Everybody that she encountered knew that, they, that she loved them because she made it sure that they did. Police say there was a party at the park. She was trying to come home. Yeah. Somebody stopped that from happening. Kamaya was one of three teenagers shot. I, mean, I feel like my heart is ripped in like a million pieces. She didn't deserve that. No. No kid deserves that, but Gamaya was she's the sweetest girl. She died from a gunshot wound and no arrests have been made. And she's leaving behind a baby sister who doesn't understand, so she's leaving behind her brother who's still trying to process it. We spoke with her aunts. My sister waited so long to have finally have a baby and, and she, you, you know, you plan for your children to bury you, not for you to bury them. And sat down with her grandmother and mom. Like she's the first person to call me mom. Who won answers. <laughs> it's not fair no. that somebody can just take that from me yeah. <laughs> without yeah. consequence. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever did that to a baby has to pay for it. Keep saying her name, keep saying Kamaya, and keep her memory alive. We need justice for Kamaya. And so she can rest in peace. You know, because she's probably not going to rest in peace until justice is served. Saying Kamaya deserves that. It sounds like a way to live like Kamaya would be to tell the people you love that you love them every day. I know that she loved me and I know that she knows that I love her. And that's like the only piece of comfort that I have right now. Hoping someone comes forward. Hope somebody loves her enough, loves her like, they, like she loved them. For her family, who deserves to know what happened. In Aurora, Colette Bordelon, Denver 7. And we'll continue to follow up on that story.